Yeah. As a matter of fact, Sister Tina was there too. And I'll talk to y'all on Sunday morning. Wow. So then afterwards I preached, I was all sweated out and was ready to go back to the office and went back to the office and he was locking up the office. Get out my of shirt here. and everything was in the office. Everything was back there. And I said, you know, I have to go in and get my shirt. Well, well hurry up and get your stuff. I had to go in and hurry up and get my stuff and they locked the office. I had to go home in my wet shirt. Now, I've experienced being mistreated, uh -huh. going different places. I've experienced singing and, and, and going all over and, 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 and blessing other people, but still feeling like I was forgotten. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, when it's your time and it's your season, yes. it's your time yes. and it's your season, can't nobody stop it, can't nobody block it, can't nobody say nothing about it, because when it's your time, God will bring you out. And we see that Joseph finally got to his time. Yes. And we see that God had allowed Joseph to be remembered. I thank God that I was remembered. I thank God that when I was at the bottom of the barrel and when I was down in the dumps, that God came in with his tongues and he yes. lifted me on out. Yes. Yes. I thank God that somebody remembered that there was an anointing on his life. And that though they slay me, yet will I trust him. And that I'm coming out of this situation. And that God is going to bring me into better. Come on, and into come richer on. lands. Yeah, yeah. And into greater places. I'm so glad that God allowed me to come before great people. Lord, and to be before people that can pronounce blessings over my life. How many of you know that all your blessings, none of them are going to come from church folks. That's right, that's but God right, that's got right. some people in yeah. public. God got some people in private sector. Yes. God got some people in corporate America yes. that are going to pour into your life yes. and yes. pour yes. blessings into you. Yes. And will blessings overflow in your life? Yes. There are some people that God has designated yes. that they're going to bless you in your appointed time yes. and in your appointed season. Yes. So be the best at where you are. Yes. 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 In due season, you're going to reap. But I want to let you know that your time and your season, it is coming forward. And I know that my season is now. Yes, Just yes. Like my season is now. Put your hands together and get God praise. Hallelujah. Joseph was finally remembered. Joseph was remembered for his gifts. Joseph was remembered for his skills. Joseph was remembered for his prayer life. Joseph was remembered for talking to God and hearing from God. And I'm so glad that even while I was in jail, I still heard from the Lord. That even when I was going through divorce proceedings, I still heard from the Lord. Even when I was in court all by myself, I still heard from the Lord. That even when I was losing things left and right, I still heard from I'm so glad that God blessed me despite what the enemy had played. And now I'm here today yes. getting my ring on my finger. Go ahead. I'm so glad so that I didn't give up. I'm so glad that I didn't throw in the towel. I'm so glad that I didn't listen to the rumors. I'm so glad that I didn't break under the pressure. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. starting in March, and then, and then sometime in October, we'll find a building. And I said, so we'll just continue at Bible studies, and and then and, 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 and we'll just go ahead and then do take this thing slowly, because many of you, many of you, many, you may or may not know I'm a banker, so, so I'm, I'm a numbers person. So I'm like, okay, well, we, this will give us enough time to build up this, and we can go ahead and, 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 and get a nice building, and rent a building, and all that stuff, and 
And God spoke in my spirit and said, don't limit what I can do. Wow. wow. And so we, 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 we started having our meetings and God started impressing upon our spirit to start looking for buildings. And now beginning, I'm like, well, Lord, it's only, what, uh, the five or so of us that committed at the time period. And we said, okay, well, we're not going to limit God. And went and checked out different buildings and different places and, and different people. And, and there were different pastors coming to me. And I'm, you don't, don't ever listen to, to sometimes some pastors want to just destroy you. Yes. 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 And then and, and they'll tell you things thinking that it's for your good, but, right. but really there's a spirit of jealousy. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's trying to uh -huh. tell you that. Uh -huh. I know you've experienced this. That's right. And there were different, different, different pastors and stuff coming to me and saying, okay, well, you know what, uh, well, you know, well, well, why don't you just start off in your living room? And you know, and then and then tell everyone to, to come to your house. Just no, they said start off with prayer in your living room. And God told me no Bible study in the in a building. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I know what God told me and what God yes. told me. Yes. And I said, God bless you. And I said, I know what God showed me. Uh-huh. And then different people saying, you know, you don't want to start off too big and and you know, you know, you want to be careful, you know, keep your costs low and everything like that. But God said, Don't limit what I can do. Yes, sir. And God then had to take my mind back, and he took me back to 10 years ago. When, when, it, when I was going to, I said that, you know, it was time for me to move out of my parents' house, and, and I said I, I wanted to go get a nice, small, efficiency apartment, and I started looking, and, and I, told, I told Sister Teresa Finch over at Prayer Chapel, I said, you know what, I said, you know, uh, one day, I just told her in passing, I said, one day, I'm going to own a house. I'm going to be your next-door neighbor. And she said, you can do it. And she said, you know, why don't you, why don't you buy a house? I said, no. I just didn't really consider. I said, you know, I'm working at the time. I was working part time um, and, and I was making good money then, but it was part time. Mm -hmm. And when you're working part time, at any time, your time can be cut. Right. right. And so, so, we, so, so then God put in my spirit that it's now your time to have a house. And so I went and and I went and I, I, this 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 is my, my my faith partner in crime. Amen. That whenever God drops, she has a gift of faith. And so whenever 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 God drops something in my spirit, I want somebody to confirm it with. And and so I'll go to her and I'll say, you know what? Look, this is what God showed me in, in my spirit that now it's time to go and buy this house. So we started looking at different houses and started going checking out different places. And we finally found the place. And we went went to place to place and. And nothing was coming through, and we finally went to this one place. And, and as a matter of fact, I was at work, and 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 and, she, and my mom called me. She said, uh, "There's a house. I want you to come check out after work." And so went walked into the house, and the Lord said, "This is the place." Amen. And 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 so then we began to move in the process, start the paperwork, and and God told me to do something in the act of faith that to this day still kind of makes me shudder when I think about it. But God said, "Go buy all your furniture." And schedule for it to have it delivered on, and, and I, I, I said I wanted my settlement to be on April 3rd. It was my 21st birthday. And I said I want the settlement to be on April 3rd. All right? And, and, and I went, and I went, we went and bought all the furniture for the house. Did we not? We bought all the furniture. Went to the hotel liquidator store and said, look, get all, we got all this stuff. And said, deliver it on April 4th. Mm -hmm. Deliver it April 4th to this address. I couldn't even remember the address. I had to look up the address. Wow. Deliver it to this address. And and we went through the process and March 20, we had to have the mortgage in place by March 20th. And March 20th came and March 20th went. As a matter of fact, when I was applying for the mortgage, the lady that, that took my application said that you're not going to get this mortgage. Mm -hmm. Now it's against the law to discourage anyone from applying for a loan. Oh, okay. So let me let y'all know that. All right. <laughs> if you are applying for a loan and they are talking to you in a negative sense, you can sue them. Wow. All right, now. It is against the law for anyone to discourage you from applying for a loan. All right. That's just a little tidbit that I'm going to drop with you. And so, uh, so, I, so, I, so, so I said, uh, God bless you. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and, and went for it. March 20th came and March 20th went. And that night, the, the realtor called me at the house and said, uh, it's March 20th. I said, yeah. He said, uh, did they call you about the mortgage? I said, no. He said, uh, you know, the, the contract is null and void, you know, without the agreement of sale is null and void without having the mortgage in place on March 20th. I said, yeah. He said, well, I won't say nothing if you won't say nothing. Mm -hmm. 
I said, I won't say nothing. <laughs> so the next morning, I uh, decided to go get my hair cut, and, and, and just so happened that, 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 that where I got my hair cut, uh, that's where you, your hair salon was, and, and I used to hate going there because if, if I didn't get there first, then, then he'll have the ladies in the chair first, and they'd be curling and doing it. So I had to wait two hours to get my hair cut. Mm -hmm. And so we, we went, and we were sitting in there, and, and, and she just happened to get in the chair first. <laughs> I had to wait a while. And then, uh, so then while I was sitting there, my phone rang. Mm -hmm. I answered the phone, and it was the same lady that took my application. She said, uh, Mr. Jackson, she said, uh, your mortgage was approved. All right. I said, right. say it again. <laughs> so your mortgage was approved. I was being smart now. I said, say it again. So your mortgage was approved. I was there in the, in the barbershop saying, yes. All right. And just going off. And then she was sitting in the chair. And I'm like, it got approved. And she's up there jumping up and down in the chair. So then we went to settlement on April 3rd. Went to settlement. Walked into the settlement. Uh, walked back with money back from the settlement. We got to the house. And, 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 and Elder Denise was there. And we all came in the house and we were just praising God and praying over the house. And about, probably about an hour into it, we got a knock on the door. Open up the door, it was the furniture delivery company. They made a mistake <laughs> in their records and they put April 3rd instead of April wow. 4th. Wow. So from the moment I walked into the house, I had my furniture was fully furnished. Look at that. So God took me back to that. God then took my mind back to, to working in, in, in the bank and being the youngest vice president in the yeah. corporation yeah. and the brownest one. Uh-huh. The brownest one. <laughs> and, 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 and even when, when, when a year or two years or so ago when, when uh, the position came open in Ohio and, and it was the, the position was for the community consultant for, for, for all of Ohio except for Cleveland, Cincinnati, and Toledo. And, and the position came forward, and, and they had the posting of it, and normally they, they wanted you to have at least 21 years of banking experience. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I barely had 21 years of life. Well, I know that's you right. Know? <laughs> so, so, the, so I said, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna apply for it. I applied for it, and someone, actually someone called me and told me to apply for it. Mm -hmm. Applied for the position, and, and, and went for the position, did the, the application and everything, but, Lo and behold, I didn't know that there were people in Pittsburgh that I only met one time that were saying, you need to hire this guy. Wow. The, 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 the hiring officer for the position was in Cincinnati. 